please give it up for your next performer. She hosts a monthly show here on the first Wednesday of every month called the Ten Foot Rat Cabaret. Please give a warm welcome to one of the funniest people I've ever met, Jillian Thomas! Oh my, do we like to sweat? Hi, everybody! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Uh, my name is Jillian. I'm Canadian. I like weed. Deal with it. Okay. Um, I got that out of the way. Good. Okay. Uh, because I think my mom's watching, so let's not talk about that. Uh, I'm kidding. She's not watching. She's praying. Uh, she actually called me today to tell me, like, some guy from a church that I went to when I was six. That was the last time I was at this church. She called and she's like, Ed died, and I thought you'd want to know. My mom's from Liverpool. I don't know why I do her accent like that. <laughs> she should sound like a beetle, but other times like, I think I'm Catherine Hepburn. Um, youngins, look her up. She was amazing. Um, so my mom called. She's like, Ed died, and I thought you'd want to know. And I was like, I don't even know who he is. I was six the last time I would have seen him. She goes, but I thought you would have remembered him because you're the one who went up to him and he was about to tickle you and you put your hand in his face and you said, do not tickle me. Your breath smells like liquor. <laughs> and like the first question was like, why did I at six know what liquor smelled like? Because my parents did not have booze in the house. Except for Christmas when my mom would put sherry in the trifle. But what disturbed me more was that I didn't think about the second question and that it was second was, why the fuck was this old man tickling me? <laughs> he didn't have any kids, I didn't know him, he wasn't married, stay the fuck away from me is what I would have been saying, but I just said, your breath stinks, and I was like, I still don't remember. Like, I'm sorry, I smoked most of my memory away. I'm sure I had some great ones, but they're gone. <laughs> And that was before cell phones when I lost my memory, so I don't have any videos or phone or pictures. Uh, so it's pretty good. I'm excited that anyone is here tonight because I, I don't know if you guys know this, but tonight, Richard Simmons announced that he's retiring from public life. I know, I know! And just before I'm about to shit on him, the man was in a Fellini film. Do you understand? The man has had a more successful career just on that one film alone when he was a fat teenager living in Italy. He was more successful than I will ever be. No, okay, nobody found that funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're all so successful. Right? On Thursday, and you're all sitting in a basement? Yeah, yeah. Yes, let's judge the comic over there who's not successful. I'm um, sorry. I <laughs> that I've had quite a rough week, a uh, bizarre week. Uh, number one is that on Monday I went to do a show and the uh, guy who produces it came up to me at the door and he's like, oh, good news, bad news. And I was like, okay, what? And he's like, well, the good news is the show's still going on. Uh, and I was like, what is the bad news? And he's like, well, the bad news is uh, where we normally do it upstairs in the Delancey, they rented it out for a private party, so we're going to be in the basement in the dungeon. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, oh, that's a funny name for a basement. No, he meant a dungeon. <laughs> workshop going on? <laughs> I'm on stage trying to entertain strangers, and where that wall is, is like a woman tied to a wooden thing, and a guy being like, and now we're going to learn about the neck knots. <laughs> and then you hear my punchline, and then you hear, and now we're going to work on feet binding. <laughs> and then I tell a joke about my mother being religious, and then you hear, and now we're going to stimulate her clitoris. <laughs> and I was like, I don't care whose clitoris is out. I'm on stage, damn it. You look at me. Uh, nobody did. Nobody cared. I was looking at the lady. And it was so hard to take uh, notes because I didn't have a pen, but I wanted to remember, and we know I won't. And I was like, I need those pointers for later. I also don't remember anything because on Wednesday, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Like, I've been obsessed for like six months. I've been like, I can't wait until the rinks are open. I'm going to go ice skating. I'm going to go ice skating. Because in my head, I'm like, I'm a Canadian. Of course, I was born with ice skates. In reality, hadn't been on skates in 24 years and was like, this is going to be easy. Um, Brian Park landed at 
ass first, head next. Oh. I have a goose egg, don't, can't really see anybody. Um, <laughs> and then um, uh, smash my finger, which I didn't notice <laughs> until like seven hours later. It's like, oh, my finger's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I have a high pain threshold and I'm professional. I once did a show where I had fallen on the way to the show because this crack addict who had one leg was chasing me in my alley. <laughs> or, as I called it, Wednesday. And, um, <laughs> I broke these two fingers and they were hanging backwards and I was on stage telling my jokes because I'm professional and the headliner came up to me and gave me a hundred dollars and was like, take a can to the hospital now. <laughs> Who needs fingers? So I started my week in a dungeon and tomorrow I'm going to be doing a show in a prison. <laughs>
your Christmas cards stoned is not a good idea. <laughs> because now they're not the only two that got mixed up. I think I'm like ris just misplaced by one. And so I don't, I write personal messages. Like I write really personal things that are to that person so they know that I took time and I give a shit about them. But apparently I don't give a big enough shit to actually put it in the right envelope. <laughs> But that is why, like, I called my dealer and was like, can I have some of that stuff again? Because it was really good. <laughs> I really shouldn't talk about weed, because today I got a letter in the mail and it was like, Dear Jillian, the FBI was unable to process your fingerprints. Uh, <laughs> and I'm live streaming, talking about how much I love my weed. Hey, FBI! Uh, <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, the FBI knows who I am, which is just fucked up in so many ways. Uh, because they'll make me look normal. Uh, I married an American, you fuckers. And apparently, Canadian married an American. Not only did I have to go see a doctor that didn't even touch me, and I had to pay more than any doctor I ever paid for, because I'm free in Canada. Uh, $500 to have this doctor just be like, oh, do you have TB and do you have any STDs? Okay, um, so, and then the FBI takes your fingerprints, which I didn't know, and apparently mine didn't take, so they don't think I'm the same person as I was two years ago. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck would switch lives with me? Like, who the fuck's like, yeah, I'll take your place, and if so, where did I go? Because I want to go. <laughs> I want to go back to Amsterdam, that's probably one of my favorite trips in the last few years. <laughs> But that's also another reason why I feel like it's time to quit smoking because all of my travels are related to just like, the only two places I've been in the last few years, Amsterdam and California. <laughs> and I got a medicinal card within an hour of stepping off the plane. <laughs> yeah, oh, California was lovely. Oh my God. Except for medicinal weed is uh, even stronger than Canadian sometimes. Uh, New York weed's okay. And, uh, and... <laughs> So my husband and I get there and we're like, let's split this chocolate bar and go to, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Universal. Universal Studios. It's my birthday. He's like, we're going to go to Universal Studios. And we're in the car in the parking lot and we split this medicinal chocolate bar in half and we eat it. We're like, hee 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 hee, we're so silly. And then I read the wrappers, I'm going to throw it out. And it's like eight servings. <laughs> So, but on your birthday, they, you have to give ID when you get to the door. And on your birthday, they make you wear a button that says, Happy birthday, Jillian. And then all the staff have to wish you a happy birthday or I think they get fired. <laughs> and that bar took over very quickly. And we were walking through the park and the whole time we're just like, Oh my God, oh my God, we are so fucked up, we are so fucked up. And then I'm like, everybody's like, Hey, Jillian, happy birthday. Hey, Jillian, happy birthday. And I'm like, please make it stop, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop.